Hey, it's Emily, Super Sensitive Human, and while I'm on a roll with the gardening here, I thought I would do a video on my brand new Clean Water Fun garden hose filter. Um, it's really windy out here today, so hopefully you can hear me all right. This filter is made for filtering out chlorine and chloramines, which some people have in their water rather than straight chlorine, but I'm pretty sure here in Rimrock we just have regular chlorine. And uh, the chloramines are a little bit harder to take out, but this does it both. Um, 97% supposedly. It doesn't say anything about taking out heavy metals. I believe some kinds of carbon filters can remove heavy metals, but I think it has to be a specific kind and I probably because they don't say anything about it probably doesn't. It also, chlor carbon filters do not remove um, minerals from the water. You may want that, you may not want that depending on what you're trying to do. Um, but some people t try and test this with a TDS, total dissolved solids, or uh, EC electrical conductivity meters. And if you do that, you're not gonna see it working because it's not supposed to do that. You have to test for chlorine because that's what it does or herbicides or pesticides or some kind of organic compound like that that might be in the water. Um, so I just bought it because, you know, I'm into organic gardening and I also uh, give Mercy her water um, outside here and the fill up the bird tank over there. And uh, I thought that the plants and animals deserve some chlorine free water. It does evaporate, but uh, I fill these up pretty often because of the um, water evaporation. The chlorine evaporates if you leave water sitting, but here in the desert, the water evaporates, so I uh, fill up the water like daily is what I'm trying to say. So it may still have always have some chlorine in it. So, and you don't want, you probably know that you, uh, if you're into organic gardening, that you want your, uh, bacteria to grow on the roots of your plants. You may be putting in uh, compost and mushrooms and compost teas and stuff to try and get the bacteria to grow on the roots because they are the things that sort of interface with the surrounding soil and the minerals and that and give it, feed it to the plants. Um, so hopefully now that I have this, my garden will grow a little bit better. So it goes up to 10,000 gallons supposedly depending on uh, various factors and uh, one way, there's no way to test that, there's no nothing that shows how many gallons is flowing through it, but one way to do that would be to do what I'm going to do right now to start with, which is use some chlorine test strips and once it stops removing the chlorine, um, you can get a new one. So, what I'm going to do is uh, have these two Hellcat, Hellcat Maggie shot glasses and I'm going to fill that with the filtered and unfiltered water and give it a test. So, filtered water, got the end of my hose over here. Turn this on. Okay, I got some out of the end of the hose. That over there. Now we'll close that one. Get some out of here. Sprayed it all over myself. Kind of knew that was going to happen. We got the other one. Now these test strips are uh, EPA approved, so you can actually use them t if you were a like utility worker to test the drinking water, and they are <laughs> legit Sensafe free chlorine water check. 
Now, if you have chloramines, I don't know that the free chlorine is uh, gonna check it, but if you ha have straight chlorine, then it should check it. Supposedly these expire in uh, 2020. Got a lot to use in a couple years. Okay, so the clean water is on my left, the chlorine water is on my right, and I'm just going to, you're supposed to flip these back and forth in the water for 20 seconds. Now already you can see that this one, for some reason, the chlorine one reacts and uh, turns reddish colored. Don't know if you can see that, but it's turned pinkish colored. So we'll take those out and uh, then you flip them off and wait a little bit longer. But you can already see that there's a huge difference between them. So the one that didn't go through the clean water fun filter is clearly blue. The other one is no, no, not really much discernible blue, if any. Maybe a teeny tiny bit. And uh, so you can compare that to the this if you want to know the parts per million. I'm never good at matching these colors. This one looks like it's about a, I don't know, cause it's all blotchy. I can't do this. 0.4, it doesn't matter. The point is that it's clearly removing the chlorine. So if you wanna get one of these filters or these strips, I will link them in the description and you can try it yourself. So that's just to prove that this really is working. I am gonna use it to water my house plants in a minute and um, I guess if anything else happens with the thing I can give it a review later on because I don't know how long it's gonna last or if it's gonna break or what some some other reviews say that it's leaking mine isn't leaking it's, uh, I can just leave it on like that leave the water on so it comes out of the end of my thing and it doesn't seem to leak right now and that's all